Hi Aquarius, welcome. This is your May 2019 reading. Do keep in mind this is a general reading, so just take the messages that apply. Um, I'm using two of Mystic Moon's Oracle decks. These are her Twin Flame Messages Oracle decks. That's the first one. That's the second one. We're just going to make this reading about your person of interest, whether this is a crush, your boyfriend, husband, wife, your girlfriend, who, you know, whoever this may be. Maybe you guys have had an argument. Maybe you've had a falling out. Maybe somebody was ghosted. Maybe there's limited contact. Whatever the situation might be, this is what um, they wish to tell you. This is, you know, may maybe they can't express this to you. Um, maybe this is what they're secretly feeling, thinking. So let's just see what comes out for you guys. Okay. So... So let's go ahead and get started. Um, all right. First message. I just have to do something else right now. Please try and understand. Is it possible to forgive and forget? The grass wasn't greener on the other side. I can still feel you. I wish I could take back the things I said. Bottom of the deck. My mind and heart always comes back to you. Second deck, you are never far from my mind. Would you give me the chance to make things right between us? I feel too much pressure right now. You're the only person who truly gets me. I will make things right between us one day. Bottom of the deck. I'm sorry I held myself back with you. So. Yeah, this person definitely still feels your energy. Even if you guys aren't speaking or together or around each other, this person definitely still feels your energy um they might have left you for another person or for some other situation it doesn't have to be another person could just be another situation in general you know they could you know could be another person or they just left you for some situation that they thought would be better or would be more fulfilling um whether that be with friends or like with a job or um whatever it might be um and it turns out that you know it wasn't as fulfilling as they thought 
um, you know, like the card says, is it possible to forgive and, and forget? They, they want to know that from you. Like, they, they want to... They want to help you forgive and forget. Now, you might not feel the same way. Maybe this person felt pressured to pursue something else at the time. And maybe they said things to you that they really didn't mean. Maybe there were some hurtful things said between you two. Maybe before this person left, like, they were just saying saying things that they wish that they could take back. Um, maybe they knew that their words were hurtful. Yeah, but this person definitely had other things to do. They had, they had other responsibilities. They had other things to do. And they could have been, you know, really have been pressured to do these things. Maybe by friends, by family members. Maybe they felt obligated. I don't feel like this person wanted to. But they were pressured. And even when they were off, you know, pursuing and, you know, doing whatever it was they were doing that they felt obligated, you were still always on their mind. You were still always in their heart. Your connection still affects this person. Or your connection that you have with this person still affects this person. They can still feel it. Um, yeah. You know, you're always on their mind. I feel like whenever they're alone... And they're reflecting just on life and, you know, choices that they've made. Um, you're always included in those thoughts. Um, and this person is really sorry for holding themselves back. Maybe they wish that they were more open, more honest, more communicative about maybe the pressure that they were feeling. Um, maybe they never expressed that to you. Maybe, maybe they did, maybe they just didn't want to burden you, is what I'm feeling. Um, and this person does feel that you really get them, that you really understand them. And they feel bad, they feel like that they lost that. They feel like they lost someone who really understands them. And they do. They really do want to come back and make things right. But at the end of the day, you know, if they left you and they end up coming back, it is your decision. Um, this person does want to right their wrongs. Let's get a postcard from Spirit. Let's see what Spirit has to say. This is the postcards from Spirit Deck. I should light this. Why not? Okay. Spirit says, Dearest you, as you think, so will you experience life. Thoughts are that powerful and they need minding. Let the unruly, chaotic ones settle down so they serve you or get released instead of wreaking havoc. These thoughts arise when connected to the energy of fear and often masquerade as truth. Yet the real truth is that, essentially, all is well. Of course, you have thoughts that are positive, strong, organized, accepting, creative, open, and so on. These are the ones we want you to keep thinking, and they have a less frantic quality. 
They're stimulating in a good way and don't get away from you. How do you keep an inner eye on your thoughts? Meditate and leave judgment out of the mix. Everyone has those fearful everyone has those fearful thoughts. Love them, love yourself, and then choose the thoughts you want the world to reflect back. Life is not as hard as you think. Loving you so much. Um, at the bottom of the deck, it says, Dearest you, do you ever wonder whether ideas and inspirations might be coming through your soul rather than generate it from your mind alone? We are here to tell you we are always whispering in your ear about your highest good. We are conduits for spirit, letting you know you are a living channel for this awesome co-creative energy. When you're feeling inspired, it means you heard us. Inspiration means spirit is breathing through you. Inspiration needs your human passion to keep it going so you can make a difference in the world. So keep moving on what inspires you. Let yourself be led into new experiences and know that this is why you are on the earth. Your purpose is to discover your spirited nature and to bring forth through your efforts whatever is meant to be. Wondrous miracles have a way of showing up when you let inspiration propel you forward. You are so, so loved. Yeah, so spirit in this case is just wanting you guys to really only give attention, like focus on your on your positive thoughts. Um, you know, what you think is what you create. So if you're focusing and giving your attention, your energy, your time, your focus into negative thoughts, you're just going to bring about negative outcomes. You're going to be drawing in negative experiences into your physical reality. You know, so as much um, effort that you put into focusing on thoughts that aren't serving you, you know, try to redirect your, your negative thoughts and, um, and your fearful based thoughts into positive ones. And, you know, just keep reaffirming positive thoughts, um, positive intentions, and you will bring that about into your physical reality. Um, you know, maybe you guys have just been caught up in your head about this. Um, and this other person has definitely as well. Um, there's a need, I feel, for both parties here, for both people here to meditate and just really get their thoughts together, really get their minds um, right. Um, and just really focus on things that inspire you. You know, really focus on ho like hobbies, activities, you know, friendships, like, you know, focus on people who, who care about you, focus on things that bring you joy and happiness and bring you inspiration. And why not? Let's get another message. Spirit says, dearest you. There are times when loss is a part of life. Sometimes a loss is welcome, like when you leave a situation not in alignment with your highest good. Sometimes a loss is sudden and painful, like when a loved one crosses over to our dimension. Regardless of the nature of the loss and your control over it, your experience is asking to be acknowledged. Tears are necessary, as is grief. When you repress the natural expression of loss and try to move on too quickly, the unprocessed pain haunts you in destructive ways. We don't want that for you. Instead, let your heart break open wide. Feel the loss and integrate it. See the beauty that was, the lessons learned, and know that as you let go of what has passed, ever more of you remains. It gets better, we promise. Your heart expands with more compassion for the world than ever before. Love heals all. We are loving you, sending you love, always and forever. Yeah, so there was definitely a loss here. Between the two of you. Maybe you lost feelings, or you lost trust, or you lost faith in this person, in this relationship, in this situation. Um, you know, but spirit is really trying to come through and 
remind both parties that loss um, is a part of life and sometimes it's necessary. Um, whatever played out here was for the highest good of all involved. Um, and just know that any, you know, just give yourself time to grieve. Give yourself time to cry. You know, don't, don't just try and, you know, like, don't get all caught up in your head and in these negative um, thoughts, these doubts, any shame. Like, don't get caught up in that. It's okay to cry. Definitely give yourself time to cry and grieve. Know that um, this loss of yours is acknowledged. Um, but don't let this pain get, you know, take a hold of, um, take a hold of you. Don't let it hold you back. Don't let it cause, um, destructive tendencies in, in your life. You know, don't, don't let one person have that much of an effect on you to where, to where your life is now being affected. Um, let this heartbreak serve you. Let this heartbreak grow you. Let this heartbreak make you stronger. Let this heartbreak make you wiser. Integrate everything that you've learned from this person, from this relationship, from past relationships. And use it to, to grow, to evolve. And just know that whenever you do let go and surrender, something better always comes along. Maybe not always right away, but something def like something will always come along. Something better will. Or, you know, even the situation might come back around. You know, this person might want to talk about what happened. You know, they might have unprocessed emotions and feelings as well that 